water fed pole cleaning. What's up? Just wanted to hop on here. We're doing some water fed pole cleaning. This is one of our clients and my neighborhood. Well, not my neighborhood, I wish. But I live in a community called Wood Forest. And uh, this is one of the neighborhoods within Wood Forest. It's like super, super nice. But um, this has been our client for several years now. And we've pretty much done everything here. Roof, house, gutters, now the exterior windows. And so we really just got into the exterior window cleaning. We got a water fed pole system from Window Cleaning Resource. Some complete nerd named Austin Grubb sold it to me. Just kidding, man. He, he was super helpful. Um, he works with Prestige Exterior Cleaning, which is another awesome company. Um, they just opened a shop in my area and they're selling products and building rigs and selling SH and they're killing it, man. So they hooked us up with the, uh, with the system, man. And we've been booking a ton of jobs and it's a great add-on for, for pressure washing. So, you know, we're done washing a house or, you know, we go out to do the bid on a house and that's just perfect, you know, upsell to kind of guarantee a spotless treatment on the windows when, when you're done cleaning it. So shout out to those guys for the equipment. My dad's getting down to business right now cleaning these windows, taking a little break. And uh, we're getting ready for a massive job in the same neighborhood tomorrow. It's like a castle, it's slate tile roof and the house is beautiful, but it's gonna be a tough one. I think accessibility is gonna be tough, but there hasn't been a roof we couldn't clean yet. So we'll see how that goes. Good morning, everybody. It is the morning of the castle job that I was talking about yesterday. So it's about 7.45, usually like to get started at 8. Um, I made a post last night on the Pressure Washing Friends group, kind of just about making the channel, a little bit about my story and what we're planning, you know, to do with, with purchasing the other business. So I was really surprised by the positive interactions that I had, um, the amount of feedback, and just really the interaction in general was awesome so i think as of this morning there was like 190 you know likes and such and a bunch of comments and i gained 20 subscribers so super grateful for that thank you guys for you know joining and subscribing and following along so i am going to get out here um we'll walk you around the property i'll show you the house We'll see if the customer comes out. If they do, I'll I'll pause it for a minute, but let's go check it out real quick. Trailer and the and the work truck are on the way. So I got here a little early. Here's my truck. Let's go see the house. So here it is walking up. So you could see slate tile, um, big peaks, we're gonna have to ladder the top. It's a beautiful, beautiful home. Um, we've done a lot of the neighbors, so we're gonna get some awesome pictures. Um, let me walk you guys around to the back here. They have a little guest house. That's what we're gonna start with. They're doing construction next to us here. There's tractors and stuff, so. Hopefully y'all can hear me. Here's the garage area. So you can see it's dirty. You can see under there, that nice gray color. So these shingles are gray. I wish they were, you know, a whiter or lighter color, but it is what it is. I think it's still gonna look really good. Let's see to the back here.
problem. So the thing about this job that's gonna freak everyone out is there are copper gutters. So we've dealt with those. Um, you gotta keep things wet, man. Um, and then it's especially important with these to rinse because if you just leave the SH on there, even when it turns into salt and it's constantly running down, maybe it doesn't rain for a week or two, that's bad news. <clears throat> so gotta be sure to rinse the whole time, you know, rinse the gutters. <clears throat> and then when you're done, rinse the roof. So this is a little guest house. Here's the back of the house. So I'm gonna try to take some videos, uh, maybe like a little time lapse. I'm about to take some before and after, so we'll holler at you when it's over. guys we are on the castle beautiful always wear your respirator we usually try not to get on you know roofs like this there's a flat part down here and I'm in a valley so I actually feel relatively comfortable. Another valley here with a chimney. Always have a plan. Um, again, you know, we don't we don't get on roofs unless we have to. And obviously, this one's one of those scenarios. But wear your mask too, man. This stuff will get you over time. My dad's just now starting to wear a mask after 20 years. But if you could smell sh. You're breathing it in. So even when we're downstreaming, man, I wear one. And I got my safety glasses too for the wind. Last weekend we did a parking garage. We cleaned the exterior walls. And dude, I was getting overspray in my face the entire time. I, I could not see, man. Like my vision was so blurry. I had to rinse out with saline. It took about 24 hours to feel right. So PPE, man, but we're out here getting it done. See y'all in a bit. We've already done that guest house. See y'all in a bit. Making progress. Rinsing, rinse, rinse, rinse these copper gutters, man. You'll be all right. You just got to keep rinsing them. So. It's looking good. What's up? We'll see if that stays. If it falls again, I'm moving it. All right, well, all right, I got this set now. It's the day after that castle job. Um, I'm gonna stop back by there today. It's sunny today. It's actually a nice day. So I'm gonna try to get better pictures. Um, the tile it's slate tile and it's gray so like you know it's not the most dramatic results it looks super clean it looks great but it's just a little more subtle because the color of the the tiles are already a bit darker but i'm gonna stop back by there today we have two jobs in lake conroe uh in a neighborhood called walden so after those i'm gonna stop by that one and I'm gonna try to get some footage today. Uh, the first job we have is a uh, house wash and windows. And then the second one is like, just like a minimum service charge job with a, uh, it's just like a porch. Like it's on the lake. So it gets a bunch of like spider webs and 
bugs and stuff like that. So we're gonna do those two, go back to the, the big one that we did yesterday. We'll see how much I could film today. On the way to the job and look where I find this guy. This dude loves breakfast tacos, man. I had to pull over. Let's see what this dude's up to. <laughs> this guy. What you you got some bacon, egg, and cheese? Gets it with refried beans too. All right, we're at the first one on Lake Conroe. We're about halfway done. You can see, man, what you get out here is these bugs and stuff. Always be sure to get this part, man, because they're looking out of their windows and they can see this. But when you're washing, you're washing it from here. A lot of people forget about this part right here. This little trim on the soffit. It gets nasty. And that's what they're seeing when they're looking out of their windows. But you can see, see all the bugs and these houses on the lake get a lot of spiders and bugs and stuff. So we're about halfway done with the house. We're going to do the windows after and then we are going to do a little one we have to go to the pressure washing store today we have a hose busted and we need new j-rods and all sorts of stuff so we'll see y'all job we upsold the roof wash so doing that now always try to hit the upsell if you see something else that's dirty let them know you can clean it and I get this cleaned up It's Sunday, so I didn't film when I went back to the big job. Um, I was talking to the customer there, but everything turned out okay. I was worried about the gutters. That's the main reason I wanted to go back, also to get some better pictures. So I'm gonna throw some pictures real quick, the ones that I got when I went back. I'm gonna throw those in the video right now. So we filmed from Tuesday through Friday. So, and then now it's Sunday, I'm gonna pick up my brother-in-law who helps me edit the videos. And then um, hopefully we'll get it out by tonight. And so that's what I'm gonna try to do. I'm gonna try to film stuff during the week when I can. It's tough to do, man. I mean, like uh, on top of all the stuff, you know, you already have to do um, as a business owner and like, it's tough but it's uh it's fun and i'm i'm having i'm having fun doing it so i want to try to record more of us working like when we're at the actual job so i'm gonna try to work on that i wanted to thank everyone who subscribed this week so i made the post on the pressure washing friends group i can't remember what day maybe wednesday and then we have gained 30 subscribers so that's pretty cool um, i appreciate you guys and i hope you enjoy following along so again like i'm just doing this for fun just want to document the journey from now until july and beyond um and just see how it all goes so we'll see y'all for the next one